Something that I realised a while ago is I actually forgot about the actuators building the dash and I thought I was just going to sneak it here, but that's not the case. This is all going to be mounted under here and then there will just be a, yeah, it's a 4540 tube here and then it's a 32 by 32 box that goes inside. So it's not offensive, it's going to be quite small. I'll have this bigger outer tube go all the way to the top and then in this window frame that I'm going to build, I'll, I'll bring it out like that and then that will um, steady this tube up the top, you know? <laughs> At this height is where this will Extend. retract. So all of the inner side, inside of that will be um, all the way from here, all the way down there, and probably under here, and then I'll somehow um, fit the actuator. So it goes like that, scoop it up like that, and then this will kind of be mounted on the bulkhead. Knock these bits out so that this will fit in here. So the only thing these actuators are gonna be doing is lifting up and down, no steadying this way. I'm completely relying on this fit here, which has got like a two mil gap um, on either side. So one mil gap all round, but the longer I make it, the less it will move. I think, I don't know, we'll find out. I'm sure it'll be good enough for me, especially at the start. And if my actuators are sloppy, I'll just put these on it somehow. My next problem is where I'm going to put the rear actuators. So, like that. And then here. And the reason I'm going forward is because I want to be able to open the ESCII the, the fridge from here. So I'll lift this seat up and then lift the lids up. And then this will also slide back as well. Oh, yeah, so I, um, I need to work out what I'll do there. I'll probably need to get some different box so that the outside box will fit over the top of this. If anything makes sense, I don't know. I thought I'll just... Let us know, it's gone in my head. But I do need to make a decision on where I'm gonna mount the actuators. Before I make the roof. So it looks like I'm gonna go just forward of the ASCII here, and then just forward here, which is not ideal. It's a big maybe. I'll, I'll have to work around it. At worst, I can mount this, that, and, and then I'll make the wall come out further, but then I've got less room here to get into the cabin. It'll be nice and open in there, but it'll be a small opening here. Or I could put the toilet like this, and then uh, the actuator will be there. And this is another iteration I've been thinking about. I could make the door from the back. That way, if there is someone sleeping there or there's people in the cabin area, the, when you don't open the door up into someone. And also, if you're doing a stinky number two and you open the door, it'll just fly out there, <laughs> hopefully. It won't work having the actuators like this because I need the actuator, the, the sleeve to be longer. The, the longer this outside post is, the, the steadier it will be. So the further down I'll mount that and have this inside post longer, it'll it'll stay steadier. Uh, oh, more thinking. So there'll be a post going all the way from the ground all the way up and the toilet will be situated like you can see. Or should I mount it back here? Completely not symmetrical with the passenger side. Now moving back to the windows. I just fiberglass these so it holds its shape better. Next, I've got a fair inside here and I'm going to make some full-size window templates while they're full-size. So this is what it looks like after I crack it off the 
sticky tape that I put down. I bogged to my dummy it's windows. got a nice edge. Now I've got the perfect dimensions for when I want to cut the window and also how I want to cut the mold. So then I know how to cut the perspex after I drape it, drape it over. Off camera, I bogged the back side of the dummy windows. Now I've got to sand it. Look at how close it is. It is spot on, symmetrical. That's an absolute fluke. I mean, I wanted that to happen, but it happened. <laughs> it, 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 it's a miracle. <laughs> For all us beta males that are too lazy to do things properly, like me, I just want to uh, see what I can get away with and if this works, then it might inspire someone else to blob something together like this. So I've, I've already put this mold release all over. Now I'm going to go crazy with a PVA release. I didn't use PVA last time. And that might have made a good enough skin for it not to bubble up like what it did. Sorry Drew, I used your saying. Okay, okay. I'm just going to wait for the PVA to dry. In the morning it should be good. And then I'll put the gel coat on and try it all over again. I put some Q-Cell in this mix so I could thicken it up in hopes that I could make it round so the fiberglass had better bends. I also split the chop strand into thin layers and butted the edges into the corners to prevent air pockets. All packed away. See if this cracks off next time I'm back. Needs a few more layers. Bye bye baby. When I got home, I had to move all my bodgy roof off the fence line. I was screwed all the bench tops to the ceiling to get them out of the way. I saved myself about a hundred bucks or 60 bucks, somewhere between I'm there. I'm extremely low on space. <sighs> Nearly done. It looks even worse down here. I tried to load it in order of things I'll need first. And my homemade crane. Okay, I like testing out the breaking point of things. I'm uh, Really lazy and I didn't even change the Telstra rope that's through here. There's only enough room for one bit of Telstra rope that's probably sun damaged, but uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I pushed out, I didn't want to break anything. I'll need to use these extensions later on.
No. Uh, I hid them. Come in handy. I don't know where to begin with this. <laughs> I've waited so long to get to this stage and now that I'm here, I'm actually terrified. I don't want to stuff it up. This isn't good. I was wondering how I was going to run wires and stuff, but I'm thinking I'll probably be able to peel the top skin away from the bottom skin. I just don't want any extra work. <laughs> I'm hoping the wood under there is okay. I can glue it back in. I'm just scared about what I'm gonna find once I peel it back. I'm gonna cut a flat here to kind of match up with the windows better. And it's wavy as heck at the moment. You probably can't see it there, but there's a big hump here. And over there, it's, it's all over the place. Oh, that wasn't so hard. Another mold of mine that didn't make it, but this is the real mold. That's just the plug. That turned out awesome. There's a little bit of a pooper there where I was smashing it with a crowbar, but uh, easily fixed. I'll definitely make some good air blow holes through this one. I'll, I'll tap it in really good and I think it'll come out really well. I'll probably use water to release it because when you use that PVA release, it just gets all spongy and malleable and yeah, it'll work. Very confident. So, after I took some measurements, I figured out I need to extend the roof by 600 if I want it to cover where the toilet area and the back seat will be. Um, I'm kind of wary of doing it that long because I think it might look a bit funny. But my, or well, someone else's idea, I'll have to check up on who said it, but um, they gave me a good idea. I'll... Uh, just lay fiberglass over this and then um, with, after I put some release agent on it, crack it off 
and then grind it back and then uh, have like a 300 or 200 mil um, where I'll blend it in and then I'll, I'll fare the crap out of it and, uh, and then I'll, I'll make some molds from this bit, which I'll be able to extend out this way and um, also to fix up that area. And then I'll got to work out where I want all the wires and everything, flip it upside down, yada, yada, yada. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'll figure it out as I go. But at the moment, I'm on to fairing this. So I've got a clean slate and um, I'll be able to blow it off with a pressure washer without um, waterlogging the, the, the wood underneath it. I've tried to separate it and she's stuck really well and i need to get this in the water i'll uh i'll see what happens when i flip it upside down and figure out where i'm going to run wires and everything um we'll see what the wood looks like from there but it's strong as hell it's just a little bit heavy um but everything's heavy <laughs> This is what happened. I used polyester unwaxed instead of polyester waxed. That's what happened. Once you get through the, the top poop, uh, it's pretty good, but uh, that's when I hit it with this bad boy. Judging off uh, what I did with the bow sprit, uh, that was well and truly not sanded well. This is this is pretty good. It's it's probably as smooth as a bowsprit, so I'm confident this will release off here. There's just a stu stupid humps everywhere. And the only way to get rid of the humps is with the big one. It's like sculpting. I just shape it with the aggressive grinding. This this is how I get the centre of of the roof. There's a crease. Just here, I laser it up, put a mark there, and the same on the other side. And then I'll put the laser up here. And then if I want to get a square, I'll just do that. You know? So I actually have to extend it 650 mil. It's going to have this much overlap, which I'll have to grind back heavily so I can fade it in. I'll have to do something funny with the sides because uh the it tapers in like that uh if you know that if that makes any sense and uh yeah so i'm gonna have to make molds of the side as well and then extend them out and back um so i can join that up uh, well let's see where we go just winging it here So I touched up all the little poopy bits and uh, I went over it with 240 grit, which is what I should have done to everything in hindsight. But for some stupid reason, just because this came out so nice, I thought, ah, oh, I'll just do it like that. And especially with the windows, I definitely should have done that smoother. I think I finished them off in uh, 80 grit or something stupid. And that's finished off in like 20 grit with that harsh thing. Anyway, see how she goes. Big glass up, late night tonight. This time I tapped the thing in there proper. Blob a little sticker on. Now all I gotta do is put mold release all over it. I'm, I'm thinking if I can crack it there, I'll just be able to pull it you know, lots of maybes. I'm not real happy with how 
I finished these, which is really annoying because if the fiberglass gets stuck to these and, and rips it apart, I'll have to make new ones, which will set back days. So, um, tossing up whether to wipe it down with acetone and give it a proper polish or I'm probably just going to run with it <laughs> because I just like seeing if I can get away with stuff. What on earth happened last night? <laughs> I was going all good and then I went to mix some more resin. I don't know how. <laughs> I spilt it all here. I started having some drinks and um, yeah, I had about that many. And then I must have just decided to go to bed. <laughs> and now I need to grind the heck out of everything. Because I, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Oops. These came apart pretty easy, which I'm pretty happy about. I definitely should have fared it off nicer. I would have had a better finish, but I got to trim them up and then uh, hose them off. And then I'm thinking about grinding the heck out of that because there's still a lot of fiberglass and resin used in that. It's just going to be pretty hard to get in there. I, I'm so embarrassed about that. Um, I'm, I'm considering just start scrapping it and starting it from scratch because it looks like there's a big void there. This hose worked awesome this time. And um, it's a real shame because the actual bowsprit came out pretty good. I can still beef it up like that, but I think I'm just going to do another one from scratch. You can see all the bits where the fiberglass didn't get into the corners. I, I could fix it, but I'd rather just start from scratch because it takes longer and I'm an idiot. I just put PVA mold release all over it. About four coats on top of waxing the mold. And I used the roller to apply the PVA. I'm making it blue in the middle just for fun, cause I can. I've got to cut this lip out cause I somehow need to make the roof bit that I've made. That's only two sheets of chop strand. It's a bit floppy at the moment and I need to probably make another mold or another skin for under here to extend out. But uh, yeah, I just need to see how I can make it, make it stiffer as I somehow need to make it still structural. I'm completely winging it. I cut the lip with the grinder off camera.
Look, look at this, Arnie. That's where the bat, that's a bowsprit. That's what the anchor's gonna go onto. Is that cool? Yeah. Well, it looks like it. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna get this line. You can see how shaky it is in the uh, boat because it's still on the trailer. It's on a heavy pitch down. It took ages to adjust my mullet laser adjusting device. Nice and straight now. Getting good at that. I should have braced the sides to hold them straight. They look straight on the mold. But yeah, somehow make it thicker so it didn't buckle. These are definitely buckled in. That's what I mean. That was straight when I cut it, when it was in the mold. And then after I popped it, that's what happened. So still easily usable, but definitely a learning curve. Oh no, the mold is curved at the front as well. Maybe it wasn't curved when I cut it first. I don't know. I screwed these bits of wood in. The roof's not sitting good. Uh, yeah, let's <laughs> see. Oh my goodness, that looks poop. You can't even like have a faintest idea what it's gonna look like after it's done. The roof's really hacked up now and <laughs> looks like an absolute abortion. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to pick a window height and, um, and, and just make it. And then if it turns out good, it'll be good. It looked way worse in real life. <laughs> Okay, so I painted it blue, so you could kind of see what the windows will be like and then with the pillar. And it still looks crap. I really need to do something with the roof. I think it does need to be lower. I think the pillar needs to shave in a bit more. Because I'm a bit worried that the roof is so long now. See, it looks all right at the front because the roof's down. And then you go there and it just looks bodgy as hell. Okay, I'm taking it down a little bit more. So that means I would have taken it down 50 mil now. Still slightly higher than the Reva windows by about 50 mil.
How does this silly thing work? This is a girl's job. This is what I'm really using it for. My dad told me that you can get this stuff, which is melamine or stuff to put on iron on melamine. to do is work on my bike.